Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Problem one, if x is greater than zero and x plus one over x is equal to five, then find the value of the square root of x plus one divided by the square root of x. Problem two, if x plus one over x is equal to the square root of three, then find the value of x to the power of 100 plus one divided by x to the power of 100. I thank Sonic for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give these problems a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve these problems. So let's solve problem one. We'll get started by taking the square of the square root of x plus one over square root of x. If we expand this out, we get the square of root x plus two times root x multiplied by one over root x plus the square of one over root x. In this middle term, the square root of x multiplied by one over square root of x will cancel out to be one. So the square of root x is equal to x, the second term becomes two, and the square of one over root x will be equal to one over x. So this all is equal to x plus two plus one over x. We can now rearrange the terms so that we have x plus one over x plus two. But we know that x plus one over x is equal to five. So we can substitute in to get five plus two, and this is all equal to seven. So now we know the square of what we want is equal to seven and x is greater than zero. So we'll take this positive square root. So that means root x plus one over root x is equal to root seven. And that's the answer. Now let's solve problem two. So there are many ways to solve the problem. I'll just show you one of the approaches. The first thing we might do is we might square the first equation. So we have the square of x plus one over x is equal to the square of root three. We expand the binomial to get x squared plus two x multiplied by one over x plus one over x squared is equal to three. We can then simplify so that we get x squared plus two plus one over x squared is equal to three. Then we have x squared plus one over x squared is equal to one. So we've made some progress We'll put this equation to this side and we'll try another thing. Let's take the original equation and cube it. So we have x cubed plus three x squared multiplied by one over x plus three x multiplied by one over x squared plus one over x cubed is equal to three root three. We can now simplify this equation. So we have x cubed plus one over x cubed plus three multiplied by x plus one over x. And this is all equal to three root three. But now we know that x plus one over x is equal to root three, so we can substitute in. So we have x cubed plus one over x cubed plus three root three is equal to three root three. And that means that x cubed plus one over x cubed is equal to zero. So we're going to put this equation to the side, but let's do another manipulation on it. We'll multiply both sides of this equation by x cubed. So we end up with x to the power of six plus one is equal to zero. And now that means x to the power of six is equal to negative one. So now we have x to the power of six is equal to negative one. We can do some tremendous simplifications. So we have x to the power of 100. We know that 100 is equal to six times 16 plus four. So x to the power of 100 can be simplified to be x to the power of six times 16 plus four. We can then break this apart into x to the power of six raised to the power of 16 multiplied by x to the power of four. So we'll substitute that into our expression. Then we know that x to the power of six is equal to negative one. So we can substitute in. Now, negative one to the power of 16 will be equal to one. So this all simplifies to be x to the power of four plus one over x to the power of four. So how do we figure out that value? We'll just do one more calculation. 
Let's take x squared plus 1 over x squared is equal to 1 and square both sides of the equation. So now we get x to the power of 4 plus 2 times x squared times 1 over x squared plus 1 over x to the power of 4 is equal to 1. This will simplify to be x to the power of 4 plus 2 plus 1 over x to the power of 4 is equal to 1. And that means x to the power of 4 plus 1 over x to the power of 4 is equal to negative 1. So now we've solved the problem. x to the power of 100 plus 1 over x to the power of 100 is equal to negative 1. And that's the answer. For completeness, I'm going to illustrate another method to solve the problem using complex numbers. I don't know if it's any better, but it's just good to know different ways to solve it. So we start out with this equation and we want to evaluate z to the 100 plus 1 over z to the 100. We can multiply both sides of the equation by z and then we get a quadratic equation. So we can solve this and we get two different roots, we'll call them s and t. What we're going to do is convert this from rectangular form into polar form. So we want s to be equal to a plus bi, or r multiplied by e to the i theta. So we need to calculate what r and theta are. So in this case, r will be equal to the square root of 3 plus 1 all over 4, and that's equal to 1. And then theta will be equal to the arctangent of 1 over root 3, which is equal to pi over 6. So one solution is equal to e to the power of i pi divided by 6. I'm just going to illustrate this for one of the solutions. You can then look at the other root and do the same thing, convert that into polar coordinates. So now from here, it will be relatively easy to calculate s to the power of 100 plus 1 over s to the power of 100. So we substitute in what s is equal to. Then we just use exponent rules. So if e to the 100 i pi over 6, plus e to the power of negative 100 i pi over 6. Now every 2 pi can be canceled out in the angle, so this simplifies to be e to the power of 2 i pi over 3 plus e to the power of negative 2 i pi over 3. We evaluate this back into rectangular coordinates. We get negative 1 plus i root 3 all over 2 plus negative 1 minus i root 3 all over 2. So we end up with just the answer of negative 1. So that's another way you could solve the problem. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.